Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss include and exclude LOD in our video. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. We already discussed fix LOD in our last video. If you have not watched, I recommend you to check out the last video of fix LOD. Now we will move to our next to LOD that is include and exclude. So what is include LOD? Include LOD expression compute values using specified dimension in addition to whatever dimension in the view. Okay, so what we did in fix LOD, fix LOD calculate the values as an independent view. Okay, but what include LOD will do is it will include the dimension which are available in view as well. Okay, this is the syntax of include LOD that is include then dimension then aggregate and then enclosed by curly brackets okay what is exclude LOD exclude LOD expression prevent the calculation from using one or more dimension present in the view this is the syntax of exclude LOD that is start with curly brackets then exclude then dimension then aggregate values okay so basically how exclude LOD will work is let's say if you have multiple dimension in the view and you want to ignore some of the dimension in our calculation and but you want to keep the same view for this type of scenario we use exclude LOD. So in the last video we discussed fix LOD comes after context filter and ignore all other filters except context filter in the view. Okay but if you look at include and exclude this will come after dimensions filter okay this is very important point for your interview point of view as well so sometime interview ask where LOD will come in our order of operation so you can say fix LOD comes after context filter and include and exclude LOD comes after dimensions filter okay let's see how we can use include and exclude in our tab view I'm using sample superstore dataset for this video i will provide the link in the description box to download these datasets let's discuss first include lod for this let's create a calculated field and rename it include lod and then just call our curly brackets and then call our include then we use dimension that is customer name and then sum of sales okay and then just close our bracket this is how you can call our include LODs with dimension and aggregate measures okay and then just click on okay so we have created our calculated field using include LOD okay <clears throat> now let's say we have segment and we want to show average sales of customer per segment okay so how we can do it we can just use our calculated field that we created for include LOD and then just change it to average okay and now let's drag our normal sales as well and then just change it to average let's increase the little bit size of this so if we talk about the sales so what it is showing is it is showing the average sales for each segment okay and what our include LOD is showing is this is showing average sales of customer per segment let's open our segment if you look at this we have included our customer name with sales in our include LOD when we drag it it will consider the dimension which are present in the view as well okay so that's why it is showing average sales per customer in each segment okay let me just write it here average sales of customer per segment so this is average sales per customer in segment consumer this is in corporate and this is in home office okay now let's discuss some of the use case of include LOD use case one let's say you want to show the average order size for each shipment mode for this you have to create a view drag ship mode drag order id and then sales 
and for this let show a summary and now let's say i want to show average order size for first class just add first class into filter and now you can see the average order size for first class is 442 okay for this you need to create a view we can simplify it by using include lod okay for this let's create a calculated field rename it include one and then just colon include and then order id and then just sum of sales and close our brackets and just click on ok now we just need ship mode and our field ok and change it to average we added here order date but we want for order id just click on ok now you can see we get our order average order size for first class is 442 and here we also have 442 okay just go with show filter and let's say i want to get it for same day we have 486 and we have 486 because it is giving round of values okay so this is how you can use include lod to simplify your views okay let's move to our next use case that is use case two let's say we have subcategory and we want to find out the max largest sales for the product team for each subcategory okay so how we can do it we can do it by using our include lod so we can go with largest sales with include lod then we can call our function that is include and then our product name then we want to find out max of sale based on product name for each subcategory okay then just close our brackets click on ok and drag our field okay now let's sort it now if you look at this the machine has max sale is 128k okay if you look at the data for this just go with the data and go with full sales okay so if you look at this these for these two product the maximum sale is 9099 and for these two products 1299 okay and this is how it's taking largest sales and then it is giving the sum of this largest sales is 128k okay this is how it is calculating the value if you want to download the data you can just click on download and save it let's discuss one more use case that is use case 3 in the use case 3 we will take category and in this use case we will find out the sum of sales based on states okay for this let's create a calculated field sales based on states okay for this just call our function include and then call state and then sum of sales okay now let's drag our field and change it to bar and rotate our bar Okay. and let's drag our sales as well go with entire view and show its label okay if you look at the first one this is the one that we created by using include lod and here we are including states and this is showing the sum of the sale based on states and category okay and the second one is this is showing the sum of sales based on category okay this is how you can use include lod to include many dimensions in the view without dragging into the view okay now let's discuss exclude lod let's create a calculated field and rename it exclude demo and colon exclude lod and then you can call 
any of the dimension let me add category and then sum of sales and then just click on okay this is how you can use and create exclude LOD okay include and exclude LODs are opposite to each other what we are doing in include LOD is we are using some of the dimension without dragging into the view and what we'll do in exclude is let's say we have multiple dimensions in the view and we want to exclude some of them but we want to keep the same view for this we use exclude LOD okay let's create a view let's say we have category subcategory then manufacturer and then product name and we are having sales okay so what this view is doing this is this is calculating the sales based on the product level because this is the granular level of the view okay let's say i want to exclude product name from the view and and want to see the data based on the manufacturer level but i don't want to change my view so for this we use exclude lod so how we can use exclude lod let's say exclude p name and then just call our exclude and then product name sum of sales and then just click on okay now let's drag this one as well now if you look at this this is giving the data based on manufacturer level okay to verify this just remove the product name and you can see if we check the data both values are giving same because we are having the most granular level is manufacturer okay and if we add product name so the value is changed to based on product name but in our exclude LOD we ex excluded product name so it is giving the data based on manufacturer okay now let's say i want to exclude manufacturer as well and want to see the data based on subcategory we will edit our calculated field and exclude manufacturer as well and then just click on ok now you can see now this is the data without exclude LOD and this data with exclude LOD in exclude LOD calculations we excluded manufacturer and product name and now this is giving the data based on subcategory ok if you look at this bookcase so till here we are having same value for chairs we are having same value and for furnishing we are having same value okay this is how you can use exclude LOD let's discuss one more use case of LOD okay let's say we have category let's say we have category and we are having year and then we are having month okay change it to month and we are having profit now for this view the most granular level is month and then year and then based on category okay let's say i want to keep this view same but i want to see the data based on years first rename it exclude month and then just call our exclude and then drag this field and then sum of profit and close our brackets okay just click on okay now drag this in the view as well now you can see this is without exclude LOD and this is with exclude LOD so without exclude LOD is still showing the data based on month and for exclude LOD we have excluded the month now this is showing the data based on years okay if you look at this for the furniture 2020 we have same value for 21 we have same value same for 22 23 and same for office supplies and technology okay let's say we want to exclude years as well and want to check the data based only on category so for this we can just go and edit our calculator field exclude month edit it just add comma and drag our field here and then just click on ok now if you look at this we have excluded month and the year now it is showing data based on the category that is furniture office supplies and technology for 
furniture we are having same values for all years and for category we are having same value and for technology we are ha having same value okay this is how you can use exclude lod's and include lod's thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos